All right, so this little short video is going to show what I did with the brake setup for this uh, 69 Chevelle wagon I'm working on. Um, this is the stock master cylinder. Obviously, it had manual brakes on it. I'm going to power brakes with the Hydro Boost setup right here. But so the factory onto the firewall had the rod and this clavis went on the end of the rod and then that hooked to the brake pedal. So when you obviously when you push that, it would apply the brakes. Um, that's going to go away because it's manual and it's junk. So I got a Hydro Boost set up out of the donor van that I got the motor out of that I'm going to use with it. This is the plate I cut up for it, drilled some holes, it's not perfect, but it should work. Uh, to mount it to the firewall. Um, all I had to do was cut that, drill the holes and cut the plate up and I used the four bolts that were already on the car. Um, I'll show that to you right now actually. So you can see the four bolts. These two held the original master cylinder on and these two just had nuts on it. Um, the studs on the back, they hold the whole hood, they hold the brake pedal assembly in. Um, I had to cut that hole a little bit bigger to get it to work right, but uh, no big deal. So this is what the factory plate kind of looked like. The van one's a little smaller, but still pretty big and unwieldy. You can see the rod that hooked up to the truck or van. Uh, obviously that's not gonna work uh, because our clevis looks like this. Pretty big difference. So what I did was that what I wanted to do was pull this rod out of the van one, which is right here, which is cut right now. I wanted to pull that rod out, turn this down on a lathe a little bit and thread it. So I could just thread this clevis or the jam nut on and the clevis on there and be done with it. But getting these things out, they're crimped in, uh, is not easy. Um, and try to make a little tool for it, didn't work. So what we ended up doing was, I just cut it off to see if this part would fit, but we ended up making uh, a little sleeve. So it's threaded for the clevis and the jam nut. And what I'll do is I'll end up cutting this down a lot more to get in the car and mark it. But this little sleeve fits right over it. And I'll get it to the right length where I want it. And I'm going to weld that on there. And uh, that should be it. That should work good. Uh, what I was going to do was cut it, you know, and just weld, cut both of them. And weld that rod on there. But it's tough to get them straight. And it'd probably be fine. But a little reassurance is this little, we just turned this in the lathe uh, probably about an hour ago. So um, that's that. So I'll put that in next week, hopefully get that done, and I'll have a hydro boost set up in there. So that's that. <laughs>